If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Make her watch over you. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste, Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Good luck to you. And to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you, Sir Donald. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? You, miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so, but avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Best get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here.
I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? One out of one is a more generous gift than ten out of thousands. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else? For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, O oh Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else... May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? the dog spawn get us all. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, 
what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farm holders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Well then, let me go! You're joking, right? I could never be a soldier. But there aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. Bless you! The Darkspawn can have this place! told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're a really nice man, kind of like Father. I should go look for Mother now. Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Same reason the Chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. 
Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organise. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. It wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. I see enemies ahead. Right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. <laughs> what do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. Then... you believe me? <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Better than later. <laughs> I heard what. 
what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. Ah. Well, as I still don't have food to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. Pity. I figured it was worth asking. So, you want to buy something instead? Did you see the new recruiters out? I'd keep your voice down if I were you. They're pressing anyone who can hold a sword into service. They're telling you what's in the line. Is it to fight the Darkspawn or those nobles shouting against them? I've no idea, but I'm sure not about to raise my hand. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best. 
but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, is not your mother a scary... ...witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? How dare you accuse me of thievery! I saw you take the supplies from my car! Marade starit, marade twasit, a barn a kyun, ma... And you want one of my captors? I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, Whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. Death will be my atonement. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need to keep having to blow. But what about my food? I... Enough! 
we done heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Yeah! 